So today in this video, I'll show you how to prepare a POC in Revit according to the gauges because by default, uh, Revit does not provide the gauge parameter with the ducts. Okay, so uh, this is the project I have, and, uh, and this MFP modeling is being done uh, mechanical, plumb, plumbing, and power. plumbing, and this electrical also is there. So I'll uh, prepare the POC for the duct only, and I'll come to this analyze step and here we have schedule and point keys so i'll select the schedule and point keys and i'll go to the dust first I'll select the dust from here okay and i'll rename this with dust bop and click ok now you have to select some fields which you want in your schedule. So I'll select the area and this description because I'm going to uh, schedule for rectangular duct. Okay. And width and height. I'll select this one. And okay, I'll just move this up and click OK. So in which we have uh, all the ducts that you so I'll filter out the rectangular one description equals this one rectangular one and click OK. So as you have seen, uh, like we have seen in the um, POQ, uh, it is in according to the gauge, like 26 gauge, how much is the square width? 24, 20, 18. <laughs> Similarly, I also have a uh, schedule for a BOQ like in this you can see we have 26 gauge 24 22 20 and here it is written the area and the rate for a square meter and here is the total uh, total uh, cost so this format I'll try to uh, prepare I'll try to prepare Revit also now in this one <coughs> we have here the area width and height okay so first uh, new parameter which i'm going to create is uh, the maximum size because the gauge is being selected on the maximum size of the width like in this you can see from 0 to 18 inches the duct will lie in 26 18 to 30 it will lie in 24 gauge so this basically the dimension of the width Okay, or the maximum in between the two. So first I'll create the maximum parameter in this one. So I'll go to the field tab and here is an option for calculated parameter, this one. And I'll write here maximum size, which will be a common, a type is length. And here to simply use the if function. If that it starts or and again that it starts, I'll select the parameter. Now which one is the width one? But in this one, we don't have to input this or and directly. You can select width. And greater than if it is greater than height, then select this one. But it is start width again, comma, then height means which one is greater, so it will automatically select okay and click OK. So here, when we have the parameter, and you can just change the property of the units so I'll use decimal inches okay and zero and this will be your like inch sign okay now it's okay next parameter I'll create for the duct gauge which will specify that this particular duct will lie in which gauge okay so this uh, this you have to be very careful in this one and I'll go to this 
as calculated parameter and here is a uh, parameter name duct gh and this will be the discipline is common and it is a number okay now i'll use the function for that one i'll start the bracket if again bracket or again that it starts the maximum size and and click ok and here is less than how much it is first one it is 18 inch 0 to 18 inch for 26 gauge 12 to 26 ok and that it close then it should be come under 26 gauge ok then you can apply a comma and first you can copy this you can delete this is not required and select this one control c and here control v ok now next condition is maximum size how much it is for uh, for 24 gauge it is up to 30 inch ok so I will type here 30 this will lie in 24 again you can apply a comma here and control v so next condition is 60 for 22 60 then apply a comma and control v then it is how much 88 for 20 88 for 20 and otherwise you can directly input as 18 and 1 2 3 4 click ok and click ok so now you can see this parameter is perfectly working and you can see the maximum size like for example this 45 gauge so 45 inch size will lie in which gauge so 45 you can see uh, it will lie it should lie in 22 so here it is 22 and again next you can see another one uh, 61 so 61 where it should lie 61 should lie in 20 gauge okay so 61 is here and it is in 20 gauge so now it's perfectly working now i'll go to sorting and grouping and here you can sort by the duct gauge and click ok so 20 22 26 okay that's perfect and you can hide this maximum size width and height this is not required so i'll go to the formatting tab and here uh, this maximum size click on hidden width hidden and height also hidden and this you can convert in a square meter a square meter and just I'll give 0 0.1 decimal increase. Now, one parameter will create for the cost per square meter, then we'll create for total cost. Okay, so for uh, um, cost per square meter, I'm going to create one instance parameter. Okay, how you will create? Go to this field and I'll select this new parameter, okay, and this one, this one, and here for per square meter, and this is an instance parameter, and this uh, common, and it will be a currency type of parameter. It is a currency parameter, and group under like this is material information. You know and click ok ok so here you can input the values for different gauges because 
all the gauges have different cost value na, per square meter it is different so uh, i can show you here it is given for different square meters like for 20 gauge it is a24 22 it is 709 so these are the cost per square meter value so i'll select i'll go to this one to input the values okay one by one you have to input okay but one uh, option we have or a tool you can say itemize every instance you can uncheck this one and click okay so when you uncheck it will just sum of this one 20 22 so directly when input the value like for 20 it is how much for 20 it is a24 and for 22 it is how much 709 24 it is 606 and 26 it is 560 okay and here is the area this is not visible by what is the reason because in this formatting we have one select here for calculate totals click okay now you will use it so the total area for 20 gauge 22 gauge 24 gauge 26 gauge so this is cost per square meter next parameter will be total cost coming to this field and click on this new parameter sorry not the new parameter it will, it will be a calculated parameter total cost and for this total cost it will be a currency and i'll select cost per square meter multiplied by uh, this area and divided by 10.76 because uh, why we are multiplying because this will convert uh, the uh, the units in this project will be uh, square feet so to convert from square feet to square meter i'm dividing by 10.76 click ok and click ok so here you got the total cost it is not visible so what you can do i'll go to this formatting and here total cost calculate totals and click ok so here you got the total value for 20 and uh, now you can rearrange them just i want this uh, description to be hidden no need for this one and uh, this uh, age should be on the top and click ok so this is how we'll create the beauty it is for uh, factory fabricated duct so you can input it factory duct so this is how we'll create any queries we have you can ask in the comment section